Hey, this is Sean from the podcast Thrive Not Survive After Child Abuse. Uh, three things that child abuse survivors typically learn too late to save their relationship. Yes, three things that uh, child abuse survivors typically learn too late uh, after, um, after to save their relationship. So um, this is a new episode in the podcast and today yeah, it's a little bit of a serious topic but a really important one. If you think about it like this, right, most child abuse survivors won't even ever talk about their child abuse. Um, it's estimated that only one third of the child abusers come forward but they do it on an average after 19 years of their experience. So. My abuse uh, stopped around, uh, I was 12, uh, 20 years later, I was 32, and I was uh, well into uh, some relationships already. And they uh, they were tough, I can tell you that, they were tough. And I cannot blame everything that uh, was tough in our relationships on the child abuse, but I definitely can on hindsight now see that there were clearly three things that I should have uh, started to talk about and to open up and do differently in the relationship and maybe things would have gone different we we don't know that right exactly i'm just sharing what i've experienced and i'm sharing um you know what i've heard and learned uh from uh from other abuse uh survivors right so here we go first of all you need to tell your story at some point in time you need to tell your story and if you want to have an open and honest relationship you cannot keep secrets and I know this secret of abuse sometimes causes a lot of shame in us, even guilt. We sometimes think that we are alone in it. It's very hard for us sometimes to admit to another person what we did in a past life. But you know, see it like this and I know the podcast is a little bit too short to help you through it. But it's never your fault. You are a child. Whatever happened to you is not your fault, right? It only helps you forward to thrive instead of survive if you learn how to tell your story. Now, in my book Broken Silence, I give a um, five step um, framework uh, that probably can help you if you don't know how to do that to tell your story to someone that you trust. Um, so that's an important step. Secondly, um, at times it's really hard for child abusers, abuse uh, victims, not abusers, right, a, a child abuse victims, uh, to get touched, right? And it could be intimately, that could just be holding hands, it could be in any forms, uh, but touch is sometimes a really hard uh, subject for. If we didn't tell our story, but if we also didn't tell that these these triggers, as we call them, can happen, we don't even know why they happen, then our spouse or the relationship that we are in, the person really cannot understand. And that other person might want to understand, but cannot always understand why we don't open up, or why we don't tell it, why we just retract actually from um, that moment of touch. And it could be a very intimate moment of touch, but that could also be just a normal, casual touch. So often, the other person could jump into a conclusion that there is something else going on. Typically, we answer them, no, nothing is going on, and so on and so on, because we didn't want to tell about the abuse. Right? So that is the second thing. And thirdly, it's very related. All these things are very related to each other, but we have to open up why we sometimes have these weird mood swings, right? Why we get triggered uh, for uh, no apparent reasons, that we get angry, mad, or sad, you know, where we get, you know, even maybe get even in periods of depression if we don't uh, talk to and tell our uh, partner uh, that it's really hard for the other one to cope with. It's already hard to cope with this to begin with. And it's not to be the victim or, you know, ask for pity. It's just maybe ask for understanding. And the other person is very well capable and in good positions to help you through this, right? Again, my book Broken Silence helps the other person also to help you through what you have been through. It's not an easy thing, I've been there myself. But these are the three things that we typically as abuse survivors learn way too late in life to save our uh, relationship, right? Um, hence, sometimes uh, we don't want to have any relationship anymore or not a steady one, or it happens to us way later in life right than we actually want now that's maybe not a bad thing uh, but maybe that could be a bad thing 
right? I don't know. I'm not. I cannot be the judge of that. Uh, but you know, I hope you found and you find a good relationship, even if it's later in life. But you know, the pain and the arguments and the hardship you had over relationships that didn't go so well in your younger years. Maybe not everything, but a lot of them can be prevented if we know how to deal with these things and if we know what to do with ourselves. So, again, three things that we didn't learn fast enough in our life um, to save our relationships uh, if you're a child abuse survivor. Right? This was a short episode, but I hope very informative. Um, this was Jean with another episode of the podcast Thrive, Not Survive After... Um, after child abuse don't forget uh, i'm running an action uh, a promotion so to speak where you can get your book for free uh, um, you only pay the shipping and handling but i'll send you some other stuff too so um, so contact me in uh, in uh, in my, on my uh, website or just uh, send me a message through facebook to get your free copy of broken silence this was sean and i hope you hear you back tomorrow bye bye